The world is a bubble. That's the first line of a poem of Sir Francis Bacon, who is considered to be the historic figure behind the author Sir William Shakespeare. And we, at the Chair of Separation Science and Technology at the University of Kaiserslautern, share his beliefs. With one small addition, droplets are also our world. Our work concentrates on the research of separation techniques such as extraction, absorption, multi-phase reactions, bubble comb reactors and also distillation. A main part of the understanding in these processes is the knowledge of the surface area between two phases. For, for a bubble, it's a gasoline inside with a li liquid bulk phase surrounding it. And this surface area is important to understand, simulate and also understand the whole process itself. Therefore, we want to determine the exact sur surface area of these bubbles. And therefore, I created a simulating model. In order to acquire information about our bubbles and our bubble size, and especially the bubble size distribution, we use optical measurements to gain these information. Therefore, we here have our glass bubble column, which is filled with distilled water and is provided with compressed air through the bottom. So the gas enters the water, builds bubbles and lifts up within, within the column. And here, at this sector, this is the area where we acquire our images of our bubbles. To acquire images, we are using a Geek E camera, which we then can transfer to our laptop, where we now can analyze it using Simulink. Okay, so now let's take a look at our Simulink model. It is divided into five different areas, and I'm going to explain every area one by one. The first area is called image acquisition. That's the area where we get our input data from. Either from a camera device, a pre-recorded movie file, or an image file from the drive, or from the MATLAB workspace. To inspect our input data, we are using the video viewer block. Here you can see an image right from the inside of the bubble column, with a big black bubble here and a smaller one here. Usually, every image acquisition has to deal with non-perfect lumination, like the white triangle in the right corner, and even with steady interference objects, like these small black dots, which are obviously not part of our bubbles. In order to deal with these problems, we use a pre-taken image from the inside of the bubble column without any bubble. The input image is then divided by the pre-taken image and we do some calculus to get an integer image again, which looks like this. The background is now more homogeneous, which helps separating the bubbles from the background. The separation is done using Otsu's algorithm, which gives us a binary image with black bubbles and white background. This binary image is then analyzed using blob analysis, which gives us a variety of geometrical properties of the bubbles. For our needs, some more bubble sizes are calculated, like the ferret diameter and the D32 diameter. All the sizes are converted from pixel sizes into metric sizes, and then saved to the MATLAB workspace and as a MATLAB file. And to get a response when a bubble is detected, its major and its minor axes are marked in the image. This is my contribution to the Simulink Student Challenge 2017. Greetings from Kaiserslautern, my name is Johannes Mahler.